Hey, in today's video, I'm partnering with Rainpoint and I'm gonna show you how to water my watermelon plants using the One Zone Wi Fi watering timer with Smart Hub. That's right, it's Wi Fi and it's Bluetooth. So that means I get to water my plants with my cell phone. You can't beat that. So when I go on vacation, I don't have to worry about my plants being burnt up because of this summer heat. And also, my garden is getting to be very, very large and it takes me about an hour and a half to hand water everything. Now that I got this system, I don't have to worry about that. It is a straight game changer. I think I already said that, but that's how much of a game changer it is. So let's go inside so we can go ahead and show you how to uh, use this system. This, it may work for you. Let's go. All right, let's go ahead and uh, unbox our system. So we know all the parts that we have. Take this out. There's the system right there. Let me get the uh, other parts out. Now this is the uh, system that we will be using. This right here is the uh, top piece to uh, connect to your faucet. And inside you already have the uh, filter and that's the direction that should be uh, pointed upward. And you're gonna put your connection hose at the bottom or your drip irrigation system, whichever you have. Now, before we get set up, the side here, this is where you put your AA batteries. You're gonna have four AA batteries and on the side up here, it's gonna tell you the uh, positive, minus, and the, uh, so you put your batteries the right way so it'll work. All right, next thing, you have the uh, hub and you wanna put this uh, close to your router. You have a outlet to uh, slide into. You just put it next to your uh, router so that it can uh, talk to one another. And then you have the uh, extra pieces. You have Teflon tape. You're going to take your tape and wrap it around your uh, faucet outside to make sure that it doesn't leak. And then they have extra pieces for the uh, actual inside here, just in case you need a, another insert for your uh, filter. All that is there. And a couple other things that's inside the box. You have... Uh, brochure of uh, products that you may want to uh, check out right here and this right here is the uh, quick start guide and uh, I will be uh, using this shortly and the last thing that's in the box is the uh, user manual now this is uh, for more in-depth uh, directions and instructions to help you because it has a lot of features on here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and use the uh, quick start and I'm going to uh, load this up on my cell phone. So I'll be right back once I get this on the uh, the app on my phone. So I'll see you in a couple of seconds. All right, so now I have the app on my phone. What I gotta do now is put the smart hub near my router. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and then I'm gonna let it load for about 10 seconds before I press the button. All right, so now I'm gonna hold the button for a couple seconds until I can see the light comes on. All right, the light is uh, still blinking. Now I can go to the uh, next step so I can link everything together. All right, on my phone, I'm gonna hit the uh, plus sign right here. And then I'm gonna look to my left for the hub. I press that. Now I'm going to hit the button for the uh, HWG009. I want to uh, go ahead and hit that. And now I'm going to uh, have to link, put in my uh, password for my Wi-Fi, so I'll get back with you in a second. And now it says all steps are completed, so all I gotta do is hit next. And now it's trying to uh, search for the device, and all we gotta do is wait. All right, so the device has been found, so all I'm gonna do is hit add. And then I'm gonna hit save. All right, so we have the uh, hub listed. So now we gotta go to the next thing. And what we're gonna do is uh, add uh, another device. So now we're looking to add the HTV107B. So let's go ahead and click that. And all I have to do is hit next. And while this is a pairing, I got to go ahead and put the uh, insert the batteries into our system. Negative and positive. 
Go ahead and put that there. Now we got the uh, blinking light so it's on. And let's look to make sure that it finds the uh, connection. All right. It's been added to our system. So now we're going to go outside and uh, link this up to our hose and we'll come back and discuss the uh, plans. All right, so now I've already wrapped it with the uh, Teflon tape and I'm just going to take this off and all I'm going to do is screw it over top of the Teflon tape. And I will tell you that if you find that it's leaking, then you need to go ahead and take this off and uh, add some more Teflon tape to it and then that should uh, stop the uh, leaks. All right, so you just wanna make sure that this is straight up and down so that the water flows out easily. And I've already uh, tested it when I click the button. You, I don't know if you can hear that click or not, but that is going to be the uh, manual override and that's gonna help us release the water. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just slightly open the valve. So now the water is running. So if I click it, it shuts it off. So if I open it again, my little test, now it's running, and then I click it, it's off. So I know it's good. So now I can go ahead and open this up and uh, put my bottom connector on it. And I'm going to put it on to make sure that it's not leaking. But also, when I'm using, since I'm using the hose to this, I want to make sure that I have a little bit of slack so that when I move this around, I don't uh, break this piece off because this piece under here is uh, plastic. So you don't wanna go pulling and pulling because we don't want that to break. So have a little slack in your uh, hose. All right, so let's go to the next thing. Now, before I show you how to water my watermelon plant over here, I forgot to talk about this. This is the barcode for your five-year warranty. All you have to do is scan the barcode to register your product and you'll be good to go for a five-year warranty. That is so awesome to have a five-year warranty. So let's go ahead and water that plant. All right, so if you can see my phone, currently it says no current irrigation plan. We're gonna talk about that a little later. Now, if you look down, it says plan irrigation and interval misting. Those are your two options to uh, water in the garden. So if you wanna water it manually, all you have to do is hit irrigation. Now, what's gonna come up is you have the duration. So I can go 10 minutes, I can go an hour of a watering. So right now I'm just gonna leave it at 10 minutes. And then if I look down, all I have to do is hit confirm. When I hit confirm, watch what happens. All right, so if you look, it's already uh, watering both of my watermelon plants. And so this is a great system to have, it's pretty neat, it's just like magic. All right, so if I want to uh, shut it off, then I'll come back to uh, irrigation right here. I hit that. And then all I have to do, if you see it, is hit confirm. Now it shuts the uh, watering off. Can you see why I'm so excited about this product? Rainpoint is on point with this product because they knew exactly what I need and gardeners like you. So let's go inside and talk about how to uh, set up a plan for our watering. So let me go ahead and water my garden while we go inside. All right, there you go. So now we're gonna to try to go ahead and set up a plan. If you couldn't see it outside here, it says plan, it says irrigation, and you got that interval misting. Those are your uh, two options of how you water. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit plan. Now when I hit plan, if you can see it say, says rain delay. So all I do is have to swipe this over. Once I swipe that over, the rain delay is gonna come up. I got 24 hours, I got 48 hours, I got 72. Whichever one you want, you will hit confirm. And then after you hit confirm, it's going to uh, let the system know outside that it's not going to uh, water because it has a rain cell inside the product and lets it know that not to water when it's raining. All right, so the next thing, you hit the plus sign. When you hit the plus sign, this is how you set up your uh, watering schedule. You got the start time, you can say at eight o'clock, and then you can hit AM or PM. And then when you scroll down, you can hit the duration. If I hit duration, then I can set it for how many minutes I want. And then if I go further down, I can hit repeat, or I can say hit it every single day. I want to do that. And then the effective date, the day is the uh, 16th. So every day from that time, I can go ahead and uh, lock it in. And when you get ready to uh, lock it in, you got to go back down 
go back up, excuse me, and hit the uh, check mark to lock in your time. And that's how you uh, set your uh, time if you want it to be on an automatic timer. So in the description down below, I'm gonna put a link for this product and wait till you see how much it costs. It's gonna blow your mind. Now I'm also gonna put my discount code, which is BearBrown15. That means you're gonna get 15% off this product so that you can water your garden with your cell phone. How does that sound? And also, please share this video with other gardeners so that they can water their garden easy, just like this with their cell phone, especially during the uh, summertime. Now, I'll see you over in the next video. It should be over here.